there comes a time when you raise your own meat for the meat to go to freezer camp. And today is that day. Let's get started. All right, y'all, hope everybody's doing well as you can in y'all's neck of the woods. My name is Josh. Today, I guess we're doing another processing video, series three, uh, chickens. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. And y'all can tell me what you think about it towards the end, but this is how I do it. It's really quick and easy. I don't, I don't get extravagant with chicken butchering like you could if you wanted to. So all I'm gonna do, or what I do is I'm using a hatchet. This is one of my, it's actually my, my trapping hatchet that I used. And if you're going to use a hatchet, y'all, highly recommend run you a flat file over the edge. Make sure she's, you know, fiddle string sharp, real sharp. And, uh, yeah, so just have you a flat file to sharpen your hatchet. Um, that way, you like say, we don't want any undue suffering on the animal's part. Quick clean all the way through them, through their head and their neck, and be done with. So, I'm going to bring out a chicken, and I'll, like I do it on everything else, show you a few of them, and then I'm going to, you know, going through all the rest of them and I'll bring it back to the next step when we get to it so give me let me get a chicken all right y'all so we've got our chicken hope we can see um I'm like see so if I didn't say I didn't say we're butchering these ones they're up for about three and a half years old so that's when for those that don't know chickens They'll still lay, but they're slowly dropping off. So I say slowly, they're dropping off on eggs. So we're getting a lot less eggs like we used to. So now they're becoming more of an eater than a provider for us. And like I say, I've said before a bunch of times, we don't, I don't do anything for funsies. Everything has a purpose. And when its purpose has been you know, overdone, yeah, they go in a freezer. So that's the same thing. We've got a whole bunch of chickens Either I hatched out or we uh, we acquired from somebody else that was getting out of chickens. So we got a bunch of one-year-old birds or less than a year one-year-old bird to rotate in. So like these ones, I've got, I think we've got about nine or ten that I've got to butcher. And like I was saying, they're just going through feed. This is just saving us feed and putting meat in the freezer for us. So for me, I'm going to do them just straight on the ground. That way I, that, the hatchet can drive through. You know, if you have something hard, it still will do it, obviously, but I, I kind of want the hatchet to drive through clean, and then I'm just going to let go. So y'all see, see kind of like, yeah, like the quail, you chop them and let them go and let the nerves, you know, run out, whatever. Like say, they're going to be dead, they're not going to have any head, but we're just going to let them run off and go. So I'm going to hold them like this. <laughs> see? So you have them like that, just to hold on to them. And they're just going to sit there. I ain't got a clue what's going on. We're just going to... Me. Now I need to get in a different spot. She does your friend. I'm gonna try to hit it right with that. All right, y'all. Here we go again. They're saying right behind the head. Wow, that was more. Oh. Yep. Flop. And then you just let them go. So y'all like I saying, a little bit of skin is holding it on, but it's totally dead. Like I saying, it's going all the way through. There's just a little bit of skin holding on that it's it. holding on. So that's why his head's still there a little bit, but pretty much all the way through, it's instantly dead. They don't have a clue what's going on. They're generally not out. They haven't been out in a while. Like I say, be a previous video about free ranging, right? So they're just kind of like, oh, what's going on, whatever. Chop the head off, done deal. Just something when you raise animals, this is part of the process. When you raise animals, there comes a time when it's their time to go to freezer camp. So we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna go go ahead and, and lop a couple more off. Or I said more, I got probably like say seven more to do. Bring you back when we get done with that. So hold tight. All right, y'all, so we got some dead chickens. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do first, so like right here, you can see. First thing I'm gonna do is take the legs off. I'm just gonna use the hatchet. I'm gonna do it down here, that way it's just easier to whack them down here. So I'm gonna take it, for me, right here at the joint, right here. I'm just gonna hit it right there, take those two off, and then I'll bring them up here for y'all to see. So like I said, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Oh, 
chicken with legs. No, oh, no, I just wasn't hitting it very hard. I was trying to hit it a little more careful. Precise. Precise than, uh, than just whacking it and hitting it here. Now, so this is how I'm going to differ from a lot of people. It's because for me, this to sit there and dunk a chicken and, and to save the skin to me is just not worse. Um, egg laying chickens. Now, if you're going to raise meat chickens that you, you know, your broilers, so your Cornish Cross, your Freedom Ranger, stuff like that, different story. That's a whole bigger bird. I mean, they're twice the size of these egg layers. Um, and they're a lot younger. They're going to be more tender and stuff. So the skin is going to be just uber good. But for me, like these older birds, I just, for, to me, I don't want to keep the skin because it saves an immense amount of time by just ripping the hide off of them, just like a quail. So basically, this is a big quail. If you haven't seen my quail video before this one or whenever I did it, quail processing, it's the same thing, jumbo scale. So on this, same thing. I'm gonna so I'm gonna make a cut just somewhere right here on the breast bone area, just to get the skin off. And then we're going to try to just peel it off like that. We're just going to hopefully be able to peel everything right off. And it just saves a lot of time and process by. Now, if you've wanted to use like a chicken plucker or whatever, you know what I mean? You do you. You can, by all means, like my dad said, hit your lick cotton chop, boy. You can go for it. But for me, it just ain't worth it on these older ones, especially, you know what I mean? I've got friends with a chicken plucker, so we may do us some uh, meat birds next year. And then I'll do that. I'll do a video on that. But uh, like I saying, for us, it just ain't worth. It ain't worth it on these ones. Obviously, they don't know it. So y'all, just like on a quail... For whatever reason, that back right here is always a little harder to... Is this yellow stuff fat? Yeah, that's all fat. Oh, that's a lot of fat. Yeah. But the skin's hooked a little bit better on this back end of it. So, I'm just going to cut that off. Some of this excess uh, fat, too. Alright, y'all, so... All our feathers and stuff. So now we just got a fairly clean chicken. So this is our crawl up here is where all their food is. You can see a little bit of it in there. And then their guts, obviously. So like I was saying, to me, I'm trying to make this fast, so I'm probably going to skip a little bit. But you're just pulling the skin off like if it had fur like a rabbit. Same thing, you just work it around. I was trying to save the wing, so your wings right here, because they've got a fair amount of meat on them. You don't have to. You can just hack them off if you don't want to mess with it or whatever. And like I was saying, so I'm going to gut them now too. So the guts, I'm going to, so the certain parts of the guts, I'm going to use for uh, fishing bait, burbot. I'm going to use that for the burbot fishing up here, which is like our catfish. People that don't know, I've got some burbot videos somewhere. You can look up whatever if you wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna use those for that and then like the other things like the intestines and stuff like that I don't I don't want to freeze to use for fishing bait or whatever I'm either I'm probably gonna feed those to the rainbow trout in the lake because anything scraps like that the rainbows in the lake love them So they're little savages. So everything will go to something like say burbot fishing or the rainbows the innards that kind of stuff Um, we could eat them ourselves. I, I don't mind uh, chicken gizzards as much. I like chicken gizzards livers I'll eat them but I've used them so long in most of my life for catfishing that I just, I'd rather not. You know what I mean? If times were hard, like always, we'd be eating them, right? But times ain't that hard right now. So, like I was saying, I'm going to use them for fishing bait. Everything else will go to the fish in the lake behind the house. And, yeah, and then we'll wash them up and I'll show you. So, like I say, this is a big quail. It's, all this is is just a big quail. So, you can snatch them just however you can. Work them skin and feathers around everything. You know, whatever the wings are the most pain because they're, the skin's the tightest around the wing. So that's where some people might just want to hack it off. But I say, once you get all that, same thing as the quail, so you can come right here 
under there. So there's the breast meat. You can come right here, make a slice right there. So, so we're gonna reach up in here. Get them. Yeah, that's all their intestines. Some of the intestines. You just gotta make a face too when you do it. Reach up in there, pull everything out. There's the heart. Down. So I tried to reach. Where you going, boy? <laughs> Sound. So, heart. There's the liver. Ooh, liver. Yep. That's a tiny one. And bourbon. I love it. Then, so, you start from the top part, just like, uh, like the quail. You st on anything, when you, anything, really, if you got, if you start working up here and pulling everything loose, it'll, it'll all come out in a big wad. Whatever you want to keep, you know, like I was saying, for eating fish bait you know dog whatever you can do like say for me the rooster just got his butt kicked again by the red one okay i'm gonna cut this sack around there you go. save this for fish bait for burbot the liver oh, yep yeah, oh, there's oh, the heart tiny. That little leg, heart, livers, everything else. I'm gonna chop up, throw it to the rainbow trout. So what they got a snack, keep them fat and happy for winter. And yeah, that's every basically everything in here, y'all. Like, oh, wait, oh, wait, your fish rainbow smells really bad. So anyway, y'all, there is our our chicken. Everything like I say, I'm I'm not like the best professional filmer. I don't know what to do. Or not to do per se so I'm just trying to show you an overview y'all on butchering or chicken this is an easy way to do it because you're not having to you know put it and soak in it hot water to where you can either pull the feathers or use a chicken plucker you can just rip the skin off and everything you know like saying reach in pull all the guts out pretty cut and dry you just do it you just got to do it and that's all you just just that's the main key is just do it do it. so just do it yeah just do it so anyway, that's a whole bird, y'all. That'd be a nice dinner for us. That Just that one chicken is going to be plenty for us. Y'all's meat on here. I'll leave some, like say, leave the, some of this fat for, uh, yeah, so or for the stew or whatever. Because that's where you're, you're good for you is, is the chicken fat. That's like if you're sick, you got a cold, it's the fat. It ain't the meat that does it. So anyway, y'all, there is a clean chicken. Um, I'm going to freeze them whole like this here. And yeah, once I wash it up and all, it'll go in a bag. That's pretty much it, y'all. I'm gonna, I might bring, I'll bring it back just when I, um, Can I put in all of them? I'll bring it back. I'll bring y'all back when uh, we wash them up and everything. And I have them in a bag. But that's pretty much all it is to it, y'all. Hope you kind of get the gist. It's super simple. That's all I'm trying to say, I guess. It's super simple. Y'all can totally do it. Anybody can do it. So I'm gonna get to clean the rest of these things before it starts raining. Maybe even some more. I don't know. And I'll catch you back in a little bit. Woo wee, it's coming down, y'all. That rain is coming down. You can see where I was, my tripod right there. Some chicken scraps, some hides. So I'm sitting in here in the garage of the door right here and I got the uh, next chicken that I'm working on. But man, it is wanting to come down. We kind of could use it. So hopefully it'll knock these fires down too. Hopefully it's getting rain on those fires. So just wanted to show you that it is raining, doggone it, it is. All right, y'all, look at that finished product right there. Would, would you look at that right there? Boy, that's the pretty. It turn, turned out pretty pretty nice for an old egg-laying egg -laying bird, huh? So anyone wants to show you all the finished product. Uh, like I say, the other ones are the same thing. I got to wash them up or whatever, put them in some Ziplocs, throw them in the freezer, put the date on it and everything. But uh, we're going to be eating fine here real soon. My wife wanted to make some uh, chicken and dumplings with them, so them are going to be mighty fine. But anyway, y'all, hopefully I'm trying to make this video short and sweet. Pretty much nothing to it it's like a quail but bigger if you watch my quail videos so yeah so let me know what y'all think in the comment section below as always and as always thank y'all so much for watching and y'all take care and as always god bless